Hi there everyone, today I'm going to tie a pike fly. It's going to be a blackish one. So basically this is going to be a, kind of like a, a, an easier an easier way to tie a, to tie a big black fly that's not on, on the tube as, as the eel, eel uh, pattern which I'm very fond of. But, uh, but an, an easy way, to, uh, an easy and inexpensive way to tie a nice nice pike fly on a hook. Basically I have here a, a Arix, an Arix Predator 4.0 Without a bard, of course, because well, basically I love pike and uh, and uh, and I fish bartless all the time. And when you can get the, these hooks without a bard, then basically I recommend that you do so because then you don't have to, you know, and then you don't accidentally forgot to 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 put to put down the bard. Oh well, so uh, if we're gonna use uh, three different materials uh, besides the the tungsten beads and and the hook. We're gonna use some black. Black big fry fiber, some some flashy boo, uh, some flashy boo standard dubbing. No, not f flash. I mean, in in this mystic great great color. I can't recall exactly what it's called, but very nice color. And uh, then some uh, some brushes, some some uh, craft fur brushes for 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 the head part. Well, basically, uh, this is fairly straightforward. Um, I'm taking some uh, some black uh, big fly fiber here. Well, big fly fiber is just, you know. Basically, the well, at least in my book, the most important uh, fly tying material if you're tying pike flies and big flies. Um, so I take a bundle of this and tie it on top of the hook. I don't want to, this to be all the way around the hook, because uh, because I need this, I need the hook to be to be free of uh, of crap and stuff, like so. And if you're the cautious type, then you can apply some super glue now. Boom. And then, of course, your fly will last a hell of a lot longer. So that's a, that's a fairly fairly neat idea. I'm just gonna take a feather to take all the off the excess stuff. Then I'm gonna take a bundle of this flashy boo dubbing, flashy boo flash, of course, standard flash. Here, I really like this color combination of of the the blue and and the green and and uh, and the copper. Really, really a nice combination. Not seen that anywhere else. Don from uh, from Hedron really has a has a keen eye for mixing mixing colors. This really really is nice. So thank you, Don, for doing this. <laughs> I'm very fond of your products. Like that, basically. And again, tying this down on top of the hook here. Applying some thread. And when I've done that, to ensure that this stays in place, I'm just going to pull it backwards. This will also uh, make sure that this fly looks nice from underneath because this will this will hide some of the tying down points if you look this from from underneath. And basically, I'm just going to move a bit along the shank here in order to tie the next bundle of big fly fiber. Um, and as I said, black is probably. Well, it is my favorite color uh, at the moment. Uh, for pike, I really, really, really like black, and for some reason, it just seems to outfish. At least in the places I fish, it just seems to outfish every single other thing that that I fish for. Um, uh, I've been using the the tube fly, the eel, quite a lot, which really, really is a nice fly. But it's it's fairly. There's a, there's a lot of materials in that, and and it's on a on a tube and stuff like that, and and many people uh, still prefer to tie on on hooks. So so basically, this is why I'm doing a fairly easy, uh, not as beautiful, and I would say probably, well, I don't know if this is as good a fly as as the eel is, but I, I know the eel is is very very good, um, but uh, but it has a lot of things that this one doesn't have. It has a lot of things that that moves uh, another way and some hack holes and stuff like that. But this is well basically the same idea, and and this really works well as uh, uh, works works nice as well. So. You know, it's it's pike, and I don't know if if you need that many materials and 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 details in your pike flies, but well, basically, I love I love to fish pike, but I also love to tie pike flies, which is which is which is uh, I love to tie nice pike flies that looks uh, looks awesome, both in the water and the in the box, and and so basically, this is if you're more a basic kind of guy, and uh, and uh, and many of the other patterns are you know a bit more advanced and a bit more. Uh, well, they they look very nice in the, the box as well, and you know I like to have a box that looks well and 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 to to you know I, I like to fish with flies that are that are beautiful. Uh, 
I'm not sure if they catch per se more pike. But uh, but I fish the more efficient I think, and when I fish better with a fly, it probably will catch more fish, if that makes sense. The more you believe in a fly, and and the better you think that particular fly is, the more fish that fly is gonna catch. That is uh, uh, that is a fact. So as you can see, I have now about yeah six seven. Uh, millimeters left uh, of this and that's because I want to do the head part of this fly and I want to do the head part of this fly with uh, with these uh, with these uh, these fur strings these craft fur strings um, one package of these is uh, is around 10 euros and there is six strings in there and and you can you can you can use a string uh, you can use you can you can make two flies out of one string so if you don't want to mess around with uh, doing craft fur um, dubbing loops yourself then basically this is a very very nice way to do that uh, for you because uh, you 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 completely uh, you don't have to, you know, mess around with with making the dubbing loop yourself. It's it's pre-made for you. So basically, you just tie the metal wire down, like so, and you just turn it. Fold everything back ev on every single turn, like so, and basically you just turn. And and I normally use about, uh, as I said, half of half of this for for one fly. And and you can you can push out all the stuff here when uh, when you're done. So basically, just you know, fold things backwards and t turn it all the way up here, and uh, and you will you will get a very very nice uh, a fairly bulky head that will uh, will not soak up too much water and making this fly uh, too difficult to cast. You could probably easily cast this on well. Not easily because you know anything would be <laughs> any pi trout, trout flies or salmon flies would be easier. But this is definitely castable on, on a, let's say an eight weight or something like that. Um, and and basically you just turn and turn and turn. Just gonna do one last turn up here like that. And that's about half the half the dubbing loop. Cut it off, and then I have the rest of the dubbing loop. I can put it to a side and use on a later date or for the next fly. Gonna make it with finish, and basically you are done. Uh, well, almost done. You need your your dubbing needle to pull out uh, to make sure you pull out every single fiber of this uh, this craft fur here. Some of it will have been stuck inside here, so basically just pull out all these nice, uh, vibrant, lively strands of, uh, of craft fur in order to complete the fly and complete the look of this fly. And uh, then I'm gonna pull it out of the vise here, and I'm gonna... And I'm gonna cut it so it so it tapers correctly, because now it's it simply is too long. So I'm gonna cut it in a, in a downward motion, so I so I taper it the right way here. Also doing that on top in order to make this. Uh, make this more in the shape of a of a fish like that and of course you can trim it as, as much as you like until you have the the size the the ideal size that fits you but I think this is pretty nice for me like that there you have it something dark uh, and easy and cheap thank you for watching